The Alaskan Malamute features a powerful, sturdy body built for stamina and strength. It reigns as one of the oldest dog breeds whose original looks have not been significantly altered. This intelligent canine needs a job and consistent leadership to avoid becoming bored or challenging to handle. Novice Pet Parents, Beware! Dogs of this breed are sensitive and need plenty of companionship and open space. They are not well suited to apartment life, and they are certainly high-shedding pooches who need plenty of grooming to keep their coats healthy. Expect to clean up dog hair all year long, and especially during shedding season. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. More about this breed. Alaskan Malamutes are high-energy dogs, and therefore require vigorous exercise. If you plan to leave them home while you're at work, you may see some anxious, destructive behavior. A dog walker or pet sitter during the day is practically a must if you can't be home, yourself. An Alaskan Malamute will do well with an experienced pet parent, lots of open space to roam and burn off energy, and a cooler climate. If you can meet this breed's needs, you'll have an intelligent, highly trainable, loving companion for life. When you first see an Alaskan Malamute, it's easy to be impressed by their large stature, wolf-like facial markings, and huge plume tail waving at you. It's often believed that Malamutes are part wolf. They might play a wolf on TV or in the movies, but in truth they're all domestic dog. The Alaskan Malamute possesses tremendous strength, energy, endurance, independence, and intelligence. They were originally sought to pull heavy sleds over long distances as well as to hunt seals and polar bears. Now chosen primarily for companionship, Alaskan Malamutes succeed in several dog sports, including conformation, obedience competition, weight pulling, skijoring, backpacking, and recreational sledding. History one of the oldest Arctic sled dogs, the Alaskan Malamute's forebears crossed the land bridge from Siberia to Alaska with native peoples thousands of years ago. One tribe, known as the Malemets, settled in the northeastern area of the Seward Peninsula and it's there that the Alaskan Malamute was developed. The dogs were used to hunt seals, chase away polar bears, and pull heavy sledges loaded with food or camp supplies. The native people treated their dogs well and valued them highly. The gold rush of 1896 brought a great influx to Alaska of dogs of many sizes and breeds who could survive the weather. Many native dogs were interbred with these dogs and pure type was lost. The Malemets were a relatively isolated tribe, so the Alaskan Malamute survived the incursion better than other breeds. Size. Males stand 25 inches high at the shoulder and should weigh about 85 pounds. Females tend to stand 23 inches high and weigh about 75 pounds. However, it's not unusual for a well-muscled adult to top 100 pounds. In rare instances, so-called, giant, versions top 140 pounds, but the Malamute body is not designed to carry excess weight. Personality. Alaskan Malamutes will win you over with their playful, outgoing dispositions. They greet everyone as a friend, even strangers and first-time house guests so they don't make good watchdogs, but they are extremely loyal to their family and friends. Malamutes are pack animals, and they enjoy spending time with their human pack, insisting on being included in all activities that their family undertakes. They're not big-time barkers, but they do howl and they're known for making a characteristic, woo-woo, sound. Temperament is affected by a number of factors, including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with nice temperaments are curious and playful, willing to approach people and be held by them. You may wish to adopt to the middle of the road puppy, not the one who's beating up his littermates or the one who's hiding in the corner. Coat color and grooming. The Alaskan Malamute sports a dense double coat. The thick, coarse outer coat, known as the guard coat, should not be soft or long. The undercoat is one to two inches deep. It's oily and woolly to repel wetness and cold. The coat length increases around the shoulders and neck, down the back, over the rump, and in the breeches and plume of the tail. 
Speaking of the tail, some display a corkscrew appearance that enables the dog to place their tail over their nose to keep them warm during cold weather. This breed's coat colors range from light gray to black, sable, and shades of sable to red. The underbelly should be predominantly white along with the feet, parts of the legs, and part of the face markings. The only solid color you'll see is white. Some Malamutes may have an attractive white blaze on the forehead or around the neck. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.